Tennessee man stumbled upon a hidden camera on his property. He found that it included pictures of himself and TWRA officers. A three-judge panel voted on the case out of Benton County earlier this year, exploring privacy issues and private property. In the first of a multi-part story, Chris O'Brien takes us inside this case. If you found cameras on your property, odds are you'd be a little surprised. It was uh, right here uh, on that, out of those two little scrub oaks. It was on the one on the right, uh, kind of right where that hole is, right in there, you know, 10 feet up or so. Hunter Hollingsworth has lived in the small city of Camden his entire life. Hunting and fishing aren't hobbies in these parts. To him, they're practically a religion. Since I was in pull-ups. While out hunting one day in early 2018, Hollingsworth noticed something odd in one of the trees on his hunting property. As we came around the curve, my headlights caught something shining in the tree, and I thought it was a coon or a possum, some kind of animal in the tree. So I grabbed a flashlight out of my truck and shined the tree to see what it was, and um, I saw that it was a camera with an antenna. He took the camera down and found pictures of TWRA and U.S. Fish and Wildlife agents on them as well as himself. Hollingsworth put it in his gun safe and essentially forgot about it until that fall. That's when law enforcement came knocking with a search warrant saying he stole the camera. They had on bulletproof vest, um, first aid kits, extra magazines, like they were a SWAT team to come get this camera that I stole that was on my property illegally. And um, they searched my whole house. Officers handcuffed Hollingsworth, but he didn't go to jail or receive a citation that day. Months later, U.S. Fish and Wildlife charged him with several violations, including illegal baiting and theft of government property. Hollingsworth took a plea deal to drop most of the charges, which resulted in suspension of his license. He then filed a lawsuit challenging the constitutionality of the cameras. Federal court threw that lawsuit out. With legal fees adding up, Hollingsworth was running out of options. You're playing against a loaded deck to start with, and your average person doesn't have the funds or the time to fight them because they'll just they'll just drag you out and run you out of money. That's when the Institute for Justice, a nonprofit public law firm, stepped in. As Hollingsworth came to find out, he wasn't the only one the TWRA and U.S. Fish and Wildlife were watching. For now, in Camden, Chris O'Brien. Now, of course, we recognize this story is not one-sided. It is a complex case with complex issues and complex litigation. And although TWRA says it cannot comment specifically on the case itself, Chris did sit down with leadership to learn more about the actual process of unannounced checks and patrols. We'll bring you that story right here on WATE over the next few days.